As we've talked about the Civil Rights Movement, we mentioned that there were three different segments of the movement. The early movement, which we've discussed up to this point, is dealing with the issue of segregation. The second or middle part of the movement is going to be about the fight for the right to vote. Now, there were two major movements during the Civil Rights Movement that drew a lot of attention and were integral in helping African Americans get the right to vote, uh, or more, I should probably say, get the right to vote protected. Uh, because it had been granted long before with the 15th Amendment. Uh, but Freedom Summer, um, a voting rights drive, or voter registration drive in Mississippi, and the Selma campaign, which was in Selma, Alabama, both drew a lot of national attention because of the responses, um, and two particularly violent responses, um, of the murder of three civil rights workers in Mississippi during the Freedom Summer campaign, and as you can see pictured here as well during the Selma campaign on a march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama, um, Alabama State Troopers um, attacked the peaceful marchers um, as they headed uh, to Montgomery on their quest to gain the right to vote. Again, the 15th Amendment was ratified in 1870, granting African Americans the right to vote. This again was one of the constitutional amendments during the Reconstruction period. Um, that time period after the Civil War where African Americans gained a lot of rights. However, once uh, federal troops left after the Compromise of 1877, there is going to be no protection of those rights. So even though the amendment says you have the right to vote, there are a lot of ways set up by um, the whites in the South in order to try and maintain white supremacy to keep African Americans from voting. Um, intimidation, you know, Ku Klux Klan, um, threats of violence towards those who registered or tried to get others to register or actually tried to show up to vote. Um, literacy tests were used. Um, that was a test that African Americans would have to pass to vote. There were also poll taxes uh, that you would have to pay in order to vote. Uh, now, the trick with those is what they set up what was called a grandfather, grandfather clause, and those would exempt whites from the test and tax requirements. Grandfather clause stated that you know, you had to take the test or pay the tax if your grandfather or direct descendants were unable to vote prior to 1865. In other words, in the time period of slavery, African Americans would not have been permitted to vote, so they would have automatically had to pay those taxes, whereas um, white Southerners, you know, regardless of their economic standing, would have had the permission to vote. So they would not be subjected to those penalties. The efforts of African Americans in the South did lead to some very important legislation that enabled the protection of those voting rights which had been granted back in 1870. Uh, the Voting Rights Act of, eight, of 1965 was passed which banned the literacy test so that could no longer be used to deny someone the right to vote and the 24th Amendment was added to the Constitution which banned the poll tax. Um, again, throughout those efforts of African Americans, one of the important things and a key idea throughout the movement um, that helped it be successful was the, the use of media and with the murder case in Freedom Summer as well as the um, video of what was going on in Selma, Alabama. Those really drew a lot of negative attention um, towards the segregation and towards the uh, denial of voting rights and brought a lot of national attention and also helped push that government um, pressure, you know, pressure the government to make those changes and protect those rights.